I'll give some examples of this uh, different products. Uh, first, I will start with a screwdriver. So, what what does the screwdriver do? So, it delivers torque. It transmits torque. It also withstands torque. It also receives torque. So, these are the various functions. Okay. So, what is a basic function? We always uh, need to start the basic function. So, how I am going to define the basic function? The basic function is nothing but a function which is very important. And when this basic function is taken out from the particular component, the existence will be a problem. So say for example here, the basic function of the screwdriver is to deliver torque. If I take away the basic function of delivering torque, if I take away this function, then the existence of the screwdriver will be a question mark or it will become a stake. So achieving the basic function is very important and all the companies should also focus, must focus to achieve the basic function. It's not a thing, but the function is very important. Next, what the, what the, what we have to do is that you need to list down what are all the different components in the particular product. It's not only applicable to screwdriver, it can be any, any, any product. You need to list down the different components, sub components, or you call bill of material, you call different sub assemblies or different sub parts, you need to list down. So, here the screwdriver is having the blade, handle, pin, and sleeve. And next, what you have to do, if in case still any subdivisions or sub assemblies are there, then you need to look, you need to note down those things also. And unfortunately, there is no additional sub assemblies in the screwdriver. And again, the next step, what you need to do is that you need to find out the different features of the screwdriver components. So here, the features of the blade and then the features of a handle and the feature of a pin and feature of the sleeve, you need to identify. It is having different uh, the diameter, length, hole, plat plating, it all comes in the blade. And, uh, and similarly, you need to find out for other other features also. So I'm going to define like this. This is the component. Totally four components are there. The first one is the blade. And what the blade will do? You need to list down all the functions, all the possible functions you need to list down. So the blade will deliver torque. It will also shoot slot. It will also extend torque. It's also required to ensure approach, to transmit torque, to prevent rest. Yes, the plating is there. We need to do plating to prevent rest. And uh, we should also allow pin for which the hole is required. So even the feature will also come into picture. This is the, this is the micro level of uh, creating the functional analysis. Um, it may be difficult initially, but if you take more examples, it will be easy for you. And again, this syllabus, this is not going to get covered in the VMF one or value methodology fundamentals one, but still I want to cover this one uh, because most of us are working and this is very important. Uh, we no need to wait to undergo a separate training called VMF two, which is, uh, which is required, but uh, before that, it's better to get some knowledge out of it. And uh, these are the micro level things that normally we need to do and this is the overall component spots having blade handle sleeve and pin and these are the different features we have seen the features of a blade you can also see the features of a handle uh, so the handle should have a proper shape, shape because to receive torque so you need to define the individual function Say for example, the basic function of a blade is to deliver torque, and the basic function of a handle handle is to receive torque. The basic function will vary from individual part supports to supports, but the overall overall basic function we need to see, and the overall basic function we need to put in the first diagram. 
so the other uh, other features of the handling includes the varnishing uh, which is required to protect wood protect is a verb and wood is a noun and uh, the other part is the sleeve the the basic function of a sleeve is to prevent the crack is a basic function and you can achieve the sleeve by creating the proper shape you also have a hole in it because you need to allow the pin which is a secondary function s stands for secondary b stands for basic and you also have a pin the pin joins join the components so it's a verb and noun and also it also withstand the torque so you need to find out such a way you're not going to miss any part you're not going to miss uh, each and every individual functions also and you need to put you need to say whether it is basic function or secondary function and the next step how we can take it further is you need to group group the functions with respect to the components parts so as i said uh, we have four parts in a screwdriver against that particular four parts we have different functions we need to group which functions belong to which parts so the blade is having the uh, functions like delivering torque shooting the slot which scanning torque ensuring the approach transmitting torque preventing rest allowing pin and similarly the handle is having a, the different uh, function and the sleeve is having the different function and pin is having different function so you need to summarize um, in a micro level which function belongs to which parts and then you have to go for a first diagram okay so i am following how analysis so the basic function of a screwdriver is to deliver torque how how to deliver torque so drive screw is the higher order function it is out of scope it is not my scope the basic function of a screwdriver is to deliver torque how i am going to deliver torque by transmitting torque how i am going to transmit torque or uh, here's a when approach when is nothing but a simultaneous function so i'm going to deliver the torque by providing a slot or or i'm going to achieve the transmitting torque function by ensuring the approach it's all simultaneous function when when i'm approaching it when i'm ensuring approach function then the torque is also getting transmitted when i'm providing slot then the torque is also getting delivered these are the simultaneous function and when i'm transmitting torque the torque is also getting withstand so how i'm going to transmit the torque by receiving torque how i'm going to receive torque or when i am preventing when at the time of receiving torque there is a possibility that crack can also happen so we need to prevent the crack so preventing crack is the function or supportive supportive function how i am going to achieve the function of receiving torque by operating the screwdriver so these are some other, other functions like one time function all time function so now i follow why approach why to operate a screwdriver to receive torque why to receive the torque by to transmit torque why to transmit torque to deliver torque so my scope of the project always lies between left scope line and then the right scope line so this is nothing but the, the functional systematic functional analysis systematic technique diagram this diagram we call it as a fast technical diagram technical fast diagram we also have a customer fast diagram most nowadays we are following only the technical fast diagram 